Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Okay, so this is really the follow-up to the first video. It was all meant to be kind of in one, but I rambled. So the video we did today on EE Arts, uh, you can view this as part two in so many ways. And we want to thank again our patrons. We couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you so, so very much. We really appreciate you guys a lot. So I wanted to share some posts with you. We have scientists discover 60 stars that appear to show signs of gigantic alien power plants. You know, again, you can find there'll be many different uh, articles out there commentating on this. And so I, a lot of times I like to have multi, you know, duplicity. As you see here, they actually go the next step and they say astronomers find 60 Dyson sphere candidates among millions of search stars. Like on the last uh, video, somebody made a, a comment about the Kepler planet because of who was posting it on the Twitter feed. But the reality is hundreds of people have talked about it on Twitter feed and there's been many, many articles written about it. So the point is, again, we're giving our take. We, we, we don't really give other people's takes, although I am at the end gonna show uh, somebody else's take on a certain subject. Um, just because I, I find it curious. Uh, but this is, again, part of that disclosure process that we're talking about. Artificial megastructures out there. There's been a lot that they've been giving us if we've been paying attention. Uh, so, you know, do these things actually exist? What are they? They're, they're gargantuan artificial structures built by advanced civilizations around their stars in order to harness energy to simply harness energy and utilize energy or also to, I don't see them say this, but I would say to, to modify um, frequencies of stars, modify and change the frequency of a star. Um, as again, many of these stars have planets around them. You know, and I will never, ever, ever do a video like this and let anyone forget that, you know, these Dyson spheres that are supposedly made by extraterrestrials are in front of two of the bigger buildings here on the planet with the Vatican. And, and where where is the other one? Yes, yes. So they're admitting there they're made by extraterrestrials. And why are they why are they put in front of some pretty big buildings that are quite popular if they say we're the only ones? Yeah, and well, there was one comment that said, I don't know why you keep calling it a Dyson Sphere, you know, because the artist doesn't call it that. Yet, when you search Dyson Sphere Vatican, what's the first thing that comes up? The giant fractured sphere at the Vatican. Now, would, <laughs> would the artist who is obviously going to give to the Vatican something, obviously, is got to be in some way, shape, or form indebted or a part of the secret societies that run this show, would they necessarily open, openly say, hey, this is in front of the Vatican because in reality they're manipulating everything about your existence and the Vatican's part of it. No, they're not going to say that. Yet at the same time, it's, it's pretty obvious that this is what it's representing. Uh, and again, many people have thought so. I'm not the first to say, why is there a Dyson Sphere at the Vatican or at the UN building? It's because the Vatican obviously has been the most powerful religious authority on the planet and you know still has over 1 billion catholic followers uh the you know 8 billion people on the planet christianity itself has over 2 billion followers it's about 33 percent of the of the people on the planet follow the christian faith and then 1 billion plus follow islam so you know, together, it, it's it's a huge portion. It's more than half of the planet that's coming out of those two traditions as far as the way they view the world. And when you look at it, it is a disproportionate amount of power and a, a disproportionate amount of influence that those faiths have in people's minds and on the reality that we see here uh, on the planet. So, you know, this, this is why we bring it up because... When you look elsewhere, like if you look into some of the legends of different tribes, like the Dogen tribe will tell you, we come from there. Where's there? The stars. We don't originate from here. We came here. We migrated here. There are other tribes out there that will say the same thing. The Hopis know, again, that we are all on this planet 
uh, migrants, immigrants from, from elsewhere originally. And so, you know, this is just simply part of that disclosure. Do you know that there's new Vatican guidelines for paranormal events and apparitions? We were talking about this before. So again, it boggles my mind how anybody could still adhere to these lines of thinking. Um, it never resonated with me, even as a little kid going to church. It never resonated. It never made sense. And you'll have people that say, well, you don't have the Holy Spirit. No, I just, I just am not blind to it. I you know, do have what I would say is a, a spiritual inclination naturally, but I've explored every single possible one I could explore as far as different religions and philosophies. And I've weighed them all. And to me, you know, again, this is found not just lacking. Uh, it's, it's worse than lacking. It's actually, I've come to think of this as truly satanic. When you look at the power structure of the church, it is the real Satan. It is the real true adversary to humanity. And to, to think that we have to listen to what different cardinals and popes, I mean, do you realize with the history of the church, these are not the upright people <laughs> that they think they're portraying. And, and a lot of people catch that and know that these these people are whew, uh, not really uh, the leaders of society from a moral, ethical standpoint, nor have they ever been, nor have they ever been. So uh, this is Ben Davidson over at Space Weather News. Does anybody have a reasonable explanation so why does the Pope's robe have an image of one of the Nazca lying beings on it that looks non-human? Well, you know, I said not for closed minds <laughs> because, you know, if your mind is closed, you're just going to shut it off and you don't want to know the truth. You just want to find something that's going to work with your paradigm. And that's that's the reality. Uh, but, you know, they serve ETs. They always have. It's an interstellar, intergalactic, interdimensional war been going on for eons. And so, you know, I wanted to touch on a few things. This, by the way, is a 57-minute video we did a year ago talking about this on EERT. Exactly. Why is the Pope wearing the image of a giant alien? And it's because aliens have called the shots the whole time. Yes, and not even extraterrestrials that are necessar necessarily of the same density as humans. So that's another part of it, the intergalactic, interdimensional part of it. So I will, I'll link that for anybody that wants to look at that. But I just wanted to bring you uh, to, to look really at who is calling, you know, the, the pot calling the kettle, kettle black per se, or you know, look at what the Vatican has done throughout time. They regret burning a cosmologist. And for people that think that the secret is really that the earth is the center of the universe and that you know, it's, it's flat and, and the, the sun is really much smaller and much closer and all this, you know, people were killed by the Vatican for expressing the idea of a heliocentric model instead of an Earth-centric. They were exterminated. They were killed in mass. It lasted hundreds of years. You know, it's just you can't pull that over people's uh, eyes, so to speak. You can't pull the wool over the eyes these days because humanity is awakening even as much as they try to get us to all drink the Kool-Aid, the fluoridated Kool-Aid, and, you know, again, the water supply is loaded with psychedelics and all sorts of pharmaceuticals. It's all done on purpose because IQs are dropping and, and they're really, uh, it's a sad thing, but we're heading into two different camps and, and you're going to have a very, very controllable, manageable group that ultimately goes along with the system and, and becomes something much less. Uh, much less than even what humans have been during most of this dark age. And then you're going to have others that are going to rise up to become what we were in past ages that aren't the dark age, which is something that's going to seem almost supernatural or superhuman. Mm -hmm. we, we have a, a lot yet to see, and there's so much that we still don't know. And we were talking with someone the other day, and, you know, they they just mentioned that, 
the only time we get to see any new technology is when it's already obsolete for the controllers. So they've already inspected said technology inside and out. They know exactly what it can and cannot do. And when they when they inspect it and they realize, okay, the little humans can't do too much damage with this. We'll give them this, you know, so they throw us a little bone. And they just really kind of corral us in that way and basically giving us all of these choices but leaving out the idea that we have so many more choices i mean there's so much to life but what do we know we've only been educated to what they want us to know so that's why i think everybody should always keep an open mind absolutely even as the flames licked his feet polymath of giordano bruno he he refused to recant, even as they were lighting him literally alive on fire. And so the Catholic Church, 400 years later, said that uh, it was a sad episode. Mm. Uh, that kind of reminds me of everything with the, you know, what upon the land, doesn't it? Oh, well, you know, apparently something was wrong. We're sorry. This is what the system does, whether it's, it's religious persecution or persecution of a different time uh, because again they've they've recommended this this has been established <laughs> according to the most modern medical of its time standard procedures that were recommended by the system that we still basically have in place right now were things like full frontal lobotomies drinking radiated water it goes on and on on and on and oops i guess we had that wrong well, you know, here you go. So many people were put to death because, you know, they dared to say the earth wasn't flat and that the earth is not the center of the universe. And it wasn't Giordano Bruno either. Galileo went on trial for heresy. He spent the rest of his life. He was found guilty. And, you know, he's, he spent the rest of his life basically under house arrest. In fact, people were tortured by the church in droves, burned, you name it. Um, harassed in <laughs> diabolical ways, you know, in order to maintain power is what they're doing and put fear into you. These are operations of fear. Now, it shouldn't really be any surprise because, again, the one that founded the Catholic Church by, you know, basically calling for the Council of Nicaea to give you one standardized version of Christianity actually, you know, put his firstborn son and wife to death because he feared they were going to take the throne from him. Well, how about turning the uh, cheek? How about, well, maybe when, you know, I'm not at the top of my game, you know, maybe I should step down early and let my son take over. No, he executed him and he gave you the Catholic Church through all the councils. And again, when you think of King James, you get people that say, oh, I only believe in the King James version. King James was the head of all the Masonic lodges in Scotland and England. This is believing in King Charles and Queen Elizabeth, and this is believing in, you know, the the Gil Bates, etc., etc. This is following your Soros. This is following your Fauci sickle maker. Yet we do find a clearer reality of what really happened on the planet in a lot of the old Hindu texts, which. Also, I do think have been affected uh, to a degree by the system, but not by not by anywhere near as being perfectly constructed by the system. They talk about things like wars that we cannot imagine going on amongst these beings that we clearly know are not the creator of the universe. They're just beings with advanced knowledge and advanced technology. And, you know, we saw them flying in their vimanas, all sorts of vimanas. They classify the vimanas. They talk of over 100,000 extraterrestrial humanoid species in our galaxy. They knew this for a fact because aliens were coming and going all the time. In fact, you know, again, the Earth was a, a sanctuary planet in so many ways. It was a place for immigrants and migrants to come that were fleeing the war that was happening in our home areas and you do have radiation still so intense that an area in india uh, rajasthan is still highly dangerous to be around a heavy layer of radioactive ash covers three square mile area 
This is 10 miles west of Jodhpur. Scientists have been investigating the site where housing development was built right on top. Oh, but it's described in the books, and, and they talk about weapons that are so bright, they're brighter than the sun, at least from the standpoint of being on Earth when these things ignite. They talk about a war so vast that over 1.3 billion people are killed in a single battle. 1.3 billion people killed in a single battle. And again, um, I have multiple sources here. And it's it's just fascinating. It's all right out there. There's all, all sorts of information. And it, there's information that you couldn't get from our historical basis. There's no way people should know. The Manas were very real. And they were, you know, the origin, as this person says, of airplanes. And yeah, there were great wars described in these texts. And the technology back in those times, if you go back uh, like five to 7,000 years ago, 8,000 years ago, was more advanced than what we have now. It was more advanced. The societies were almost completely destroyed, almost completely. How could they make all those caves over in Darren Kayu? How could they? Because they had the technology. And also, you know, how could they do all these great megalithic structures? Because they had technology more than we do. But yet, at the same time, it was us in so many ways. It was us that were doing that. And in the different yugas, you have different beings that we're interacting with. And again, the Kali Yuga is a, is a dark age because all the knowledge is gone. And we are given distortion and lies. And so the dominant systems of today are those distortion and lies. And they are being uncovered. This is, uh, again, Krzysztof Chakowski, who is um, one of Poland's greatest psychics. And you know, he was turned on to us by Peter in Poland. And I like to follow what he does um, for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, but I keep getting the impression to, to listen to him. Maybe it's a different perspective. So what he's getting here is he says in the very near future, there's going to be some magnetic interferences. Well, hey, yeah, but we are, and going back to Ben Davidson, we, we're, we're in a you know, magnetic pole reversal, right? So, you know, that's going to happen. And, you know, according to, to Ben and Diehold, um, you're going to have a flip and, and you better get two miles high. Otherwise, you're not going to make it. Um, but we've remote viewed and we don't see that. We really, really don't see that. And other people have remote viewed too. And this is why... You know, a good thing is don't just take us, check out a whole bunch of people. And, and most of all, get off the junk food, get off the pharmaceuticals as much as possible. No, mo no more, you know, if you really want to develop your abilities, then you have to become sober and you have to become clear. And you have to dedicate your time and effort into developing your own psychic abilities, you know, through meditation, yoga, qigong. Uh, people can do it, and it's in all of us. But again, you'll find that the most obtuse comments are usually coming from people that are probably drinking a lot of Monster and eating a lot of McDonald's and Pizza Pizza. Mm. You know, it's, it's it's not easy, really. It's not to get off of all that stuff because it actually addicts, it, the brain gets addicted to it, just like it would get addicted to heroin, cocaine, or any anything else nasty. There is an addiction there. And not only that... You also uh, develop these little parasites from eating these things, which is really disgusting. We were going to do this um, this cookie video, and it just takes it apart and shows what's inside of this Oreo cookie. And those little buggers go inside of you, and they lay eggs, and they make more parasites, and they, they start this food chain. And it, it's just so, it was so disgusting. I ha, I'm sorry, I had to send it to my daughter because I don't like my grandkids eating this crap. I, I don't like them eating it. And I knew that I, I never did like them eating it. So I did spread that around because it's something that makes people so sick. It's poison. And, and as much as I love my kids and grandkids, I would probably faint if I tried to spend a day at their house because I'm sure that they eat some of that stuff. And you just... 
people don't think of it as poison because it's given to little children. Who, who in their right minds would ever poison little children? I'll tell you what, your controllers don't mind poisoning little children and they don't mind poisoning everyone else as long as it benefits them and helps them stay in control and it feeds the medical system which feeds them which which feeds keeping everybody sick and it's just this really it is it's a it's a very parasitic world that we live in you know you we have to live in it but we don't want to be of it and being of it is eating the yucky food that they provide you that's being of this world it keeps you trapped and one of those little buggies one of those little parasites can speak to your brain and can tell you go get another cookie go get another cookie go get another bag of chips have another chip have another chip have another chip how many people how who can admit it i can I can. I, I couldn't fight the sugar addictions for a very long time. Very long time. I had to just really completely cut it out like chopping the head off a snake. It was not easy, but it's getting easier. And for our health's sake and for the sake of um, getting out of the system, I think I think everybody should give it a, a good, honest, fair shot. You know, it's, and it's do it for you. Do it for you. If you can't do it for you, do it for your kids. Eat better. There's a better way out there. Yeah, and I think it's underestimated how much that really affects us because it really affects us more than you would think. And it's obvious how alcohol can affect you, but when you think about the sugar side of it, it can be as bad. Um, And so here he says, I don't understand it. Hmm, magnetic interferences. But there will be some magnetic interferences which will be done on purpose. Wait a minute. On purpose is not the magnetic pole reversal. No, and you know, again, I don't know why I'm getting impulse to follow him. I, I have a suspic- uh, sneaking suspicion it's because he's seeing some things that I'm not seeing, um, but now I, you know, maybe could see why. I mean, I, I, I've known, again, for a long time that it's always been. Uh, artificial on top of natural cycles. There are natural cycles. They know these natural cycles. They utilize the natural cycles to be their excuse for what they do. And this is exactly what they're doing with, you know, climate change. Because, you know, again, we're coming out of a Kali Yuga and we're going to be going into an age that is going to be different. For one, there's going to be more oxygen. We're going to live healthier lives. We're going to live longer lives. We're actually going to get physically larger as a byproduct of, of more more oxygen in comparison uh, to the nitrogen as far as that balance goes. So this is just, you know, part of a natural cycle that they know, you know, when they see uh, the planet warming, to them it means, you know, our time is short. <laughs> So they got to do something to compensate for it. So they they are terrified of global warming. And that's, you know, part of why they've been spraying all the time, too, to try to induce, you know, a cooling. And, and yeah, you know, we see clouds that never go away. And now, you know, even though it's still out there, it's been admitted. I mean, Tennessee has outlawed geoengineering over Tennessee airspace and yet you'll still have some you know saying that it, it's just a conspiracy so here he goes magnetic interferences will be done on purpose and he's, he says then hmm this is really curious i got to get more on this specifically and i will get back to you guys so i'll be curious to see that um but will be done on purpose the weakening of the magnetic um you know poles again and all this could take hundreds of years more, hundreds and hundreds, thousands. It, you know, it might take tens of thousands. This is the reality, but it suits their purpose to utilize it now because now people are awakening. Yes, it is. It's a great awakening ongoing, just like going from that, that caterpillar to that beautiful monarch butterfly. This is what humanity is doing. That's what we're doing. We're all going through a transformation. And let's not forget that poor butterfly has to completely liquefy. <laughs> That's just got to hurt. <laughs> you know, even though they're supposedly asleep, think about it. I mean, everything has to be melted. Everything has to be completely transformed. 
And that's where we're at. And we can learn a lot from nature. We can learn a lot from bugs. We can learn a lot from our pets. You know, we can learn a lot from all different sources that are not of the mainstream. Um, that's that's kind of how I do my guidance these days. I, you know, I spend some time and I look at the flowers and I appreciate their beauty. And you know what? If you do that, if you just do that, enjoy Mother Nature for just a moment. I promise you, your day is just a little bit sweeter. Absolutely. So look forward to the comments. As always, guys, much love. May you be blessed by the true creator of this universe. Namaste. Namaste.